heavy smell of cum. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Hey guys, so today I am outside of Miao Miao Xian in Monterey Park. They have another location in Roland Heights as well. But over here, they have this thing called zebra dumplings. That's why I'm wearing like a zebra shirt because I'm here to match the dumplings. Anyway, so Miao Miao Xian, it's Miao Miao. It's kind of, it's supposed to sound like a kitty. So their whole restaurant is like kitty themed. There is like over a hundred cats drawn all over the wall. It's super cute. They've got fishies and you know, it's all traditional like Chinese food. Um, we're gonna go inside and eat some amazing stuff. Um, I'm gonna try to eat a hundred zebra delis and after that, we'll try a little bit of everything on the menu. So let's hurry up, I'm so hungry. Hi right, guys, so actually just some of my favorite stuff Came out. This is the lamb skewer. I love lamb skewers so much. These are the really like super authentic ones. There's so much spices on there. Look at that. There is a right, so there is a heavy flavor of cumin on this with a lot of different herbs. I'm gonna try this out. Mm. Mm. That is one of my most favorite meat ever. Lamb on a stick. Really, really good authentic uh, Chinese food here. So. I'm excited for my zebra dumplings. I hope you guys are too. All right. Hey guys, so we are at Miao Miao Xian. Um, in front of me, I have a hundred other zebra dumplings. Those are really cute. I've never seen zebra dumplings. So let me put my hair up and get started on this. Do you guys think I can finish all a hundred of these? Let me know and we'll get started. That's how it tastes like. Here you go. Zebra dumplings. Give us some of this spicy oil. Mmm. 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 Oh, that is good. The meat is amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Very chewy skin, very fresh. Mmm. Mmm. Well, it makes a little bit of a shrimp in there as well. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I've been eating a lot of Chinese food lately. I'm really happy. Mm. Mm. Growing up, I didn't really have any like super Chinese Chinese food. Mm. So I wasn't too familiar like the straight. What is this? Kung Pao green tea. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that is good. Kung Pao green tea. But yeah. My family, you know, like, it's not, like, traditional Chinese food that they make. They just, you know, like, make a random stir-fry, and I never had, like, a really good, like, specialty. Because, you know, China's so big. Mm. There's so many different parts of China. Mm. And my parents would only be, you know, like, eating Chinese food from one part of China, and we never really, like, go out to eat. Oh my god, I remember the first time, like remember I had lamb skewers earlier? The first time I had that thing, I was like, oh, where has this thing been all my life? Oh. Mm. And the spicy sauce is really good too. And that's another thing, my family. They don't eat spicy. Mm. So. You never have the um, Chinese numbing spice till later on. When I went on for my little own like food adventures. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, I really wonder how they make this color to make it look like a zebra. Mmm. That's really good. Mm. So meow meow shit, you know that's actually my uh, nickname when I was young. My grandma would call me Shamini. Like little kitty. Mm. Yeah. Really like all the cats around. Mm. 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 Never had these drinks. These are awesome. Mm. Yeah, I was talking about like a um, traveling kind of tour kind of video. We were sent to Japan already. I'm gonna take you guys to China too one day, I promise. I really want to go back. Mm. Oh my God. 
The meat inside is also zebra. Look, it has like the black lines on there. Another thing with dumplings is, I grew up eating dumplings, so I can eat a lot of dumplings. When you grow up with the food you eat, you can eat a lot of it just because the taste is so familiar. Mm. When I go out to places and you know dumplings usually come by a pair of 10 or 8, and I'm like, I'm going to need at least 4 orders to be happy because I can eat so much dumplings. Mm. Yeah, back to my tour in China. Randy was actually just there. He was there in Shanghai doing like steak challenges in Shanghai. I'm like, when did they have food challenge in China? I'm like, I need to go now. I now have a reason. More of a reason to go to China. Mm. Yeah, there was like this big um, steak challenge in China. I had a huge burger steak as well. Oh, and also a huge beef noodle soup um, challenge. Oh, beef noodle soup is amazing. Mm. Mm. Let's try this other one. This is lemon black tea. Mm. Oh, wow. Tea is very fragrant. That's another reason why I want to go to China. Have some really good tea. Mm. I love tea. Mm. Guys, didn't know. I worked in a tea shop for five years. I know what good tea is. Mm. Mm. Like you know, if you're a coffee connoisseur, you know the difference between good coffee and bad coffee. Same thing with tea. Mm. Oh my god, this one makes me so happy. Mm. How many dumplings can I stuff in my favorite One. Two. Oh, I know. <clears throat> hmm. Whew. Almost halfway there. Hmm. But yeah, Dumplings was actually one of my very first eating competitions. If you guys haven't watched it, I went to the San Gabriel um, Dumpling and Beer Festival. One of my very first ones was um. Dumpling eating contest. It was how many dumplings can you eat within a minute? Mm. I think the first year, I did a 27. Second year, which is just last year, I did 33 dumplings in a minute. Wow. Mm, very fun. Mm. Well, that's totally different than this right now. It's much nicer to enjoy dumpling and chew the skin because the skin is the best part. Mm. Mm. Right, guys, I cut off a little bit. New camera, still working on the gimmicks. But anyway, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, Chinese flavor, heavy flavor. Mm. Black vinegar. Yeah, Chinese flavor. Chinese food has a lot of flavor. That's why it's so hard for me to eat. Well, Japanese food because it has no flavor compared to Chinese. Food. <laughs> hmm. Sorry guys, more technical difficulties, but like I said, yeah, I will say, I can't eat raw fish because um, I don't, I just don't like the texture, you know, like um, with my steak, I need stuff cooked. Mm. Mm. I can't eat stuff raw or finish half of it. Mm. So my steak's well done. If you guys don't remember, I did have a Poke Bowl challenge. It was a 10 pound Poke Bowl. What? Keep going. Why is he getting head? Oh, I'm just reacting to you. Oh. 
I was like, oh no, something's wrong again. No. But yeah, the owner, she microwaved the fish for me, for that Poke Bowl. You know, she was cool with it, you know? So yeah. I do have a video of me trying out Poke Bowl, I mean Poke, or raw fish. I can't eat it. I just really do not like it. Yeah. There you go. See? And even though I do so much ramen challenges, mm, it's not like I don't like ramen. It's just um. There's so many other flavors I prefer over ramen. I love pho a lot better. I like Chinese beef noodle soup a lot better. Mm. Mm. I also like um I don't like American soup better than Japanese ramen soup. But I can eat ramen. I obviously I do. I eat so much ramen for challenges. Mmm. I just feel like the fishy flavor, because Japanese cuisine has um, that dashi, that dashi flavor, which is a fish. Mm. And um, it's just too fishy, way too fishy for me, so I don't like that flavor. Um, I'm a little bit over curry, because I had so much curry growing up. My curry, when I make it, it's more like stew. It's more like beef, spicy beef stew flavor rather than the curry. It just eventually turns into like a stewy flavor. Um, and especially the Japanese curry because it's a little bit sweet. I get more spicy. See, I like Indian curry. I love Indian curry. That's really good. Yeah, that's just me personally. Don't think I'm roasting Japan here. I love Japan. I'm just saying, like, there's, I, that's not my favorite type of cuisine. Mm. Right, I want to try this one. This one is uh, Liu Liu Tea. L I U L I U T. Mm. This one tastes like yakko. Have you had yakko? It's like yogurt drink. It's so good. I think that was my favorite. Mm. Amazing. Whew. All right. More dumpling. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Alright, now you guys gonna ask, what is my favorite type of food? I get I get asked this question a lot. Um I'll be honest, I really don't know. I have so much different moods. And it really depends on my mood. It really does. Sometimes I will say I like this, the next day I won't. It really just depends on my mood. Mm. And trust me, sometimes when I say I can't eat spicy, I can eat spicy. But other days I'm like, I literally want it like the plainest, mildest flavor ever. It's really weird. Mm. There is one thing that I will never be sick of would be fries. Because I love fries. Yeah. That was probably one thing that my favorite food is fries. Yeah. I don't think I've ever gotten sick of fries, but it doesn't it can't be like bad crabby fries. It can't be like those very really skinny, dried up, really fried up. It has to be the good thick steak cut fries, you know, with a lot of flavor, not too salty. I don't like salty stuff, so Mm. Like a good size, like it's like a good, decent size, not too skinny, okay, not like the really huge, thick steak ones, but like a good size fry. You just bite into it, it's just like super soft and like warm and like, oh, it's like so good. Mmm, yeah. Mmm, mmm. Best fast food fry, in my opinion, it'd probably be Burger King. Those are honestly really good. I also really like crinkle cut fries from Del Taco. But 
Every time I go to fast food restaurants, I always say light on the salt because really I do not need that much salt on fries and they usually tend to over salt it, especially if it's been sitting there for a while because I usually eat at off hours anyway. Mm. I am the only exception to a skinny fries for me, it's probably McDonald's, but this McDonald's fries has so much other ingredients in it to make it not taste like a fry. I don't like skinny companies. Like I said, it can't be like too skinny. There's like no oomph to like the fry. It's just literally like, it's just oil at that point. Like oil, oil cracks, you know, like little tippets at the bottom of the frying food. Mm. Anyway, I also love sweets. I love eating sweets, which is bad. Mm. Like, I have a temporary crown right now. I thought I would be careful. My dentist is like, here is some temporary cement. If it does come off, you can put the cement on yourself. I'm like, I don't need that. You actually trust me to put the cement on on my own. So, me being dumb and careless, I totally forgot. Mm. I had a temporary crown. So I went ahead and ate one of those protein bars, which are like super chewy with a lot of nuts and a lot of raisins. And you know what happened? It came off. It came off and then all the protein bar, the gooey stuff came into the, the temperate crown. I had to dig it out, like I took out my bite of the protein bar, I had to dig out the crown, the temperate crown, I had to wash it off, brush it. And then this part I was freaking out because I did not know which way I was supposed to put it in. I'm like, I can't fit it in. It was like, was it this way? Is it that way? And then I was just like, I lost two, I was seriously freaking out. I think, and my hand would smell ter pretty terrible earlier. The, the temper cement does not smell good. I was like, oh my god, do I have to like cancel today's filming because I have to go to call the dentist last minute. And I was like freaking out with like, and I was like trying to open, open, open the temper cement. And I was like, Ugh. and yeah, it didn't work. No, it didn't work in the end, but I was totally like, Ugh. got all over my hands, got all over my face, and but I finally got it in and put it in the right way. Mm. Mm. And then I looked at that protein bar, I'm like, you're evil. It's because it was a chocolate flavor protein bar. And I was like, I need some chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, mmm. Mmm, this black vinegar is really growing on me. Mmm. This is my favorite. It's still this chili oil. Mmm. 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 Oh, but yeah, we're almost through. Sorry about the technical difficulties earlier. I promise you I was eating the whole way through. I literally just didn't know the camera would stop. New camera. You guys have been liking it so far, so thank you for the feedback. Let me know that it was a good investment. Mm. Mm. You can actually hear me. You can see all the details on my face. I actually have freckles. I'm a freckled agent. Um, I have sunburns. A lot of pimples and blemishes. I'm so glad that this camera is 4K. I'll be honest though, I'm slightly scared the crown will come off again. But the cement is pretty good on there. It was almost like super glue. When it was stuck in my hand, I couldn't get it off. It was like, oh my god, my hands like glued together. Mm. So that's a lesson, kids. Take care of your teeth. Oh my god, it, oh, it drenched in oil. Mm. Oh. Mm. Saucy. Mm. Mm. But I don't think that Meow Meow shit only has these secret or something. They have some legit Chinese food. We're gonna try it after this. But this is my this is my challenge. Mmm. Mmm. Secret dumplings. it out yet. I do have a video on how to make dumplings. I sit there and make a whole bunch of dumplings for myself. 
Mm. And eat it after. And these dumplings are super cool because you have so much freedom with what you can put in it. Like literally the other day I went to another dumpling place, it's more modernized. They had Al Pastor dumplings. I was like, what 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 is this? It was like it literally tasted like a taco dumpling almost. And I was like, very interesting, you know? Not the usual flavor I expect, but I think they had they had like the Al Pastor flavor in it. I think they might make like a chorizo dumpling some or something like that too. I'm like, okay. Mm. But yeah, that's what cooking is. Cooking is a lot of creative freedom. Mm. I actually went to um, an American grocery market once. You know what they call dumplings? Chinese ravioli. And I was like, I mean, I guess. I guess. Chinese ravioli, that's what it is. Okay. Mm. Oh. Hey, we're like literally almost done. See, yeah, dumplings just go down so easily. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Pay attention to your dentist. Pay attention to what dentists say. I was like, oh my god, I have to call a last minute emergency tooth my teeth. Mm. This wouldn't have happened in the first place if I didn't like chocolate so much. Oh well. Mm. Mm. Last zebra dumpling. Here we go. Oh. Mm. oh well, that was delicious and one of the most unique dumplings I've ever seen. Zebra dumplings. But yeah, this drink is all super awesome. Come check out the Amazon. They have two different locations, I think, maybe in some others. But I, I'm at the one in Wonder Park, and I know they have one in Rolling Heights. This is super cute theme. If you like cats, you'll like this place. Yeah, I'm just gonna say that. You don't even need to like Chinese food. If you like cats, just come visit it. Meow Meow Shen is it's basically a cat cafe without the actual cats because I think America has too much regulations. Have you seen the cat cafes in Japan? Those are super cute. Yeah, there's so many cats everywhere. It's like cat decor everywhere. You'll love it, especially the, um, those uh, kitty cat condoms. Yes. This? You get kitty cat condoms. That's what they, this, they, 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 they don't mind it. They, they, they call it the kitty cat problem, but it's, a, it's an acting it's a kitty cat. Anyway, we're done. We're going to try some other food, but thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Thank you. Alright you guys, so this is one of their most famous dishes. This is like the shovel dish that it comes in a sizzly pot in front of you. And I'll just talk about fries. They got fries here. Mm. Mm. I love fries. Anyway, so they got spare ribs with spicy sauce. Which kind of, this is like pretty traditional Chinese, I would say. It's still a little bit modernized, more to appeal to like young people. But the flavor is definitely like very traditional. Mm. Wow, it's like spicy sweet, mm. packed with flavor, right? Look at that color. Mm. 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 So yeah, you guys want to try this place out? Let them know I sent you, but um, I'm just going to keep munching on this. I don't know how much I can eat, but... Whew. Yeah, these are spare ribs. They're really good, really tender meat. I'm just going to probably munch on some fries, honestly. Mm. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, come try out zebra dumplings. Come try this out. Let them know I sent you. Like and subscribe. Enjoy. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Cheers.
thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.